Alright, so I'm going to make another video today, and uh, if, if there's a lot of background noise, which I'm guessing there is, it's because I have two fans running, because it's really hot here, but uh, anyway, today I decided to make a video showcasing the Super 8 films, the Super 8 film and cameras that I have, uh, and... Uh, they're not all here because I didn't feel like finding them all. Um, but anyway, this is a bunch of them, or several of them, whatever. Um, anyway, so first I guess I'll do the film. So first here we have, and this thing is filthy dirty, um, because it's a pain to dust, because it's all, like, it's plastic and stuff. But, um, this is a plastic sealed, uh, Container of Kodachrome 2 color movie film expired. I don't know if you could see that, because once again it's, it's filthy. But January of 1971, processed before. Uh, but yeah, just Kodak Super 8 has the older Super 8 uh, cartridge logo. But anyway, so we have that. Then we have some Ektachrome 160, and I think this is what they still make. They still make an Ektachrome. I don't know if it's this, though. This was used before September of 1981. Uh, this is actually... This one came with... Not, rig not originally, but... Um, when I got it, came with a Sears movie... Uh, I forget what it's called. But a Sears Super 8 camera. That's actually a really nice camera that I shot one, I think, I think one of the two Super 8 films that I have developed, because I apparently shot at least one more, and I can't find it, and there's a fourth box empty, so I apparently shot a fourth one, but I don't know where it is, regardless, uh, so that's this, Kodak Ektachrome, color movie film, type A, 160, then next we have Kodachrome 40, and this one, my box actually got wet, but, uh, Kodak Super 8 color movie film. And, uh, it's, when is it used before? Why am I not seeing a date? Oh, it's on the top. Um, this is used before March of 2004. I got these, like, in 2003. I took my film. The one is actually on my channel. It's, like, the second video. It's Winter Fun at Camp Anderson. Uh, anyway, so here's actually the thing, I, I paid five dollars for that steeled pack of Super 8 film. Um, here's some Kodak lens cleaning papers, 50 sheets, it was 50 cents. Uh, Alright, so I guess get into the cameras now, this one's filthy. But anyway, uh, this is a Kodak, it has a zoom, it's a Kodak Instamatic M20 Super 8 camera, it opens like so, maybe, it opens like this, here's where your cartridge goes, obviously, and then you have your battery compartment and your tripod stand. And it has a run and continuous lock button. You either push it or no. Yeah, you, you do that to lock it so that it doesn't accidentally get turned on, or you set it to continuous so that it continuously runs. But here's the button. There's actually a trigger for this camera, and I'm not sure where I put the trigger because I have these sitting normally in my room on a shelf, so. I took the trigger off the bottom of it because that was the only way to really sit it there. Um, next we have the Kodak Instamatic M4 Super 8 movie camera. And uh, this one I think is the coolest one. There's a video which I'll link that I think is a really cool video um, when this came out. But anyway, it slides open this way which I think is really neat. And here's actually a cartridge of... Kodak Ektachrome 160 movie film type A. It's actually what's in this box here. It's the same film. It's not, yeah, whatever. It's the same type of film. And actually most of the Super 8 cameras I've gotten 
over the years have Ektachrome 160 in, I'm guessing because it was cheaper, maybe. I'm not sure. But unlike this other camera, this one's a very basic camera. It was one of the first, I think, that came out. I mean, it's the M4, which would lead you to believe it's one of the first. But anyway, it has a, you know, here's the, the shutter. This is, I think, a thing to, yeah, this is the lock. So you can push it down and you can lock it just like you could lock the other one. Or you can lock it up so it doesn't go down. Um, it has a very, very, very basic viewfinder, which you can see there. has a Kodak Ektinar lens, 13 millimeter with an f-stop f -stop of 1.8, very basic. Here's the battery compartment, which I think has a hard time coming off, but anyway, there that is. Okay, here is the Kodak XL320 camera, and I actually have one of these, and I'm not sure where it is, but... Um, I actually have one of these that's the same body style, but it's a different model because apparently Kodak made obviously at least two, but several uh, cameras like this. And the premise is you just hold it like this. That's the point. You hold it, and you know that goes on your the, the cartridge holder here. This goes on your forehead or whatever. There's like a padded cushion there. Um, Anyway, once again, you know, has the tripod mount, the battery compartments over here. Just, you know, it's a cool looking camera. Not that great though, I don't think. Um, next we have what is the largest um, box for a camera that I have. And I don't know if that's because... I think it's primarily because it was an older camera, but also because... It's the advanced model. Like this, this camera over here is the M4. This is the more expensive M6. I think that's how that worked. And this one actually has a camera. I paid five bucks for it. Um, it actually was $124 when it was new. It was actually bought at Gables, which was a large department store in Altoona, right near like half an hour 20 minutes away from here but uh anyway kodak instamatic m6 what that is um super 8 movies and in here we actually have another one of these it's the one that i said i didn't know was in here but it's a fourth box and it's also empty so i apparently shot four rolls of film but only got two developed so that kind of sucks because it's kodachrome 40 which means if I were to get it developed now, the only way I could get it developed would be in black and white because they stopped developing Kodachrome in December of, I think, 2011, something like that. Um, the last place that, that did it, Dwayne's Photo, stopped developing it. But anyway, uh, just here's this camera. Like I said, it's much more advanced. It's, it's metal. You, know, you can backlight. You can, there's a setting if it's backlit. Or normal. This side we have the zoom. Change hands. We have the zoom here. Which is very nice. It's the Instamatic M6 badge. The, the viewfinder focus. <coughs> and then here's actually the thing. You push this button and you can open the film door. There it goes. All metal in there. Once again, it's got a tripod mount. Here's the battery box. This is on here. Once again, can't really take it off. And uh, this camera also has a hand grip here, a trigger grip to uh, shoot with it this way. And just, you know. Take it this way, shoot it. But anyway, what else is in this box? Uh, there's a business reply for Kodak Company. Um, the little cap to cover the, 
think to cover the light meter. No. It's a different camera. It's for over the tripod for some reason. Uh, there's a strap in here. What is this? This is the battery folder. This is the filter, yeah. This is the filter key and the Mallory battery to adjust the filter. Or just the exposure control. I don't, I'm full of crap. I don't remember what it does, but anyway. It is what it is. To quote somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about. But anyway, you know, it's an Instamatic M6. We'll move it over here. And then here's the last camera I'm going to show in this video today. It was bought at Where's the thing? Strickler's Drugstore. I'm not actually familiar with that. It's a 537 uh, exchange. I'm not really sure where that is in this area, but it may not be from this area because I forget where I got this camera. But anyway, so here's the box. It's one of the most, uh, it's one of the fanciest of the like three boxes I actually have. Um, it's the M24, so it's a later camera. Here's the user guide for it which also shared with the M26, which I'm guessing once again was the more expensive model. This was the cheaper model. But anyway, so here we have this one. It's got the strap put on it. And here's actually a filter key for the, I think, daylight filter. And uh, this camera, the top actually fell off at the one point. The glue fell off and I didn't yet uh, take some glue and carefully hook it back on. but. It's there anyway, and uh, this one also has film in, so it has some Kodachrome 2, so it has what's in this box here. It has this stuff in it, and it's also got that nice little, low, nice little graphic, I like that graphic. So, uh, this is I think the most refined of the, the Kodak ones I have. Kodak Super 8 cameras I have. It's very uh, refined looking. It's also got the trigger on the bottom. It's just a nice looking little camera. I think. Um, what else is in here? Here is the battery container which I think has the battery in it. We'll see. Yeah, battery's down in there. And here's Strickler's Drugstore. Oh, it's in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. There's a little bag in here too, which is kind of cool. It's uh, been damaged by water or something prior to me getting it, but it's cool anyway. Um, here's actually some Kodak. This is thing that was on the film when you bought it maybe. I'm not sure what that is. It's a little thing that says Kodak. So anyway, I'll put this back in the box. I wanted this under the camera. Okay. Sit this down for a second. So anyway, that is most of the Super 8 cameras I have that are Kodaks. I do have one last camera to show you here. I'll sit this back up here. And this one I actually I'm really excited that I got and I just recently got this within the last I think two months. And this by the way is not a camera which is true for most of these Kodak cameras. Kodak Super 8 cameras at least is not known for its quality necessarily because uh, Kodak was you know the maker for the masses not necessarily the best made stuff in the world it's not bad stuff either always but anyway so here it is this is the Kodak Ektasound this is actually the Ektasound can't see that at all it's way too dark Turn this other light on. See if I can 
get this. This is the Ectasound. The Ectasound movie making case. And inside is the is some more Kodachrome 2. This is some Kodachrome 2 sound movie film. New in the box. Box is actually ripped open on the one end, but the film is still brand new in its cartridge. Here is the microphone wrapped around a little holder. A big huge cord on it, like more cord than you could ever need. So here we have the Kodak Ectasound 140 movie camera. It's a sound movie camera. This was one of the first models. I don't think it was the first model, but it may be because I'm not positive about that. But uh, here's the filter switch, the motor and battery check. Has a big, big zoom lens on the front here. And you know, looking through it, looking through it, it looks just like the other ones. It is what it is. There you go. There's a view through the. Through the lens of the camera on the other side here. If I open the door, there's actually some film in here. It's once again some Kodak Ektachrome 160. This one, the film is like all destroyed. But anyway, like I said, apparently Ektachrome 160 was very popular, at least at some point. Uh, Anyway, here's your battery and your external microphone. This is... I don't know what this is. I thought this was the microphone. Maybe this is the uh, headphone jack to listen to what you're recording. <coughs> but anyway... That's the, that's the uh, Kodak Ektasound 140 movie camera. In here we have, there's a strap actually down here, you can't really see it. There's a strap. I do love this uh, like corduroy lining and unlike most cameras, not all cameras, but unlike most cameras that I have of this era, especially Kodaks, the uh, box, this stuff is actually fairly well made in so much that it hasn't fallen apart. Because I have some uh, Kodak Instamatic cameras that the lining in the in the camera box there's a field case for the one and it's literally like a foam material and therefore has just deteriorated to the point where when you just look at it the wrong way it's like oops and it sheds all over everything anyway that's my uh, movie and I hope you uh, enjoyed it. It's very long. I tried not to do that, but it still ended up very long. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you want to. Bye.